Over 150 years ago, a man who was gifted with natural artistic talent created the first moving mouth mask in Bali, known as Pondres. He is recognized for being a mask maker and creator. He taught hundreds of individuals in Bali how to make various kinds of masks. For his artwork, he received numerous prestigious honors and awards from the government. Lucky for me, this amazing man was my great-great-grandfather, also known as Idewo Putukabas. Since then, my family has been recognized as mask makers, Balinese dancers, and traditional Batuan-style painters. I myself love drawing, especially portraits. However, I wanted to try something new, which was Batuan-style painting, one of the artistic talent that was gifted to my families for generations. I'm not just beginning to explore this art style, but I'm also going to use my talent to support a global issue that's been concerning me for a long time. Now, I'd like to ask everyone to look at the screen. What do you see? Have you ever witnessed these events in person? How do you feel about this? Early this year, when I was buying something in an art supply store, I saw two children sitting in front of the front door, begging for money. This made me, I knew that I had to do something about this. So after doing some research, I discovered from UNICEF that in 2021, it was estimated that there were more than 25,000 orphan children due to the pandemic in Indonesia. 57% have lost a mother figure, 37% have lost a father figure, and 5% have lost both parent figures. Nevertheless, some are being cared for by their, by their extended close relatives. However, there are approximately 114 children who are unaccompanied and not being cared for by any adult. Another issue that I came across in my research was that over the past three years of the pandemic, there has been a 50% increase in the chance that a young person may experience a mental health issue. This is a statistic that applies to all young people. So imagine how much more it may affect marginalized and vulnerable young people, such as orphans, who are already experiencing various difficulties. Anyone can be affected by mental health issues, regardless of gender, age, income, nationality, or other aspects of cultural identity. Everyone has different ways to cope with it. There are times when I feel like I needed to, to resettle from the busy world, such as being a teenager, schoolwork, and family life in general. Art is my getaway. Art gives me a sense of peace, and it makes me feel calmer within myself. One of the best things about doing art activities is that they encourage people to use creativity, which may improve our mental health and decrease depression and anxiety. Another impact that art offers is that they make us feel more resilient and confident. Back to my story about early this year, when I saw two children sitting in front of the front door begging for money. This made me feel sorrowful. And knowing that this has been happening everywhere around the world till this day, I felt an instant connection to help these children. But how or where can I help them? Orphanage. The orphanage was the first thing that came to mind after thinking about this question. So after some deep thinking, I thought of something that I could do to combine my passion for art, mental health, and helping orphans. Then a light bulb sparked in my head. Why not make art sessions for the orphans in the orphanage and create Batuan-style paintings to sell and donate the money? So then I decided that my quest project would have three main keys. One, learning, exploring, and creating my own Batuan-style paintings. Two, selling and raising money for an orphanage. And three, having art sessions for the orphans in the orphanage. At the beginning of this year, specifically February, I started my journey to learn about Batuan-style paintings. From generations to generations, my family has been creating hundreds of Batuan-style paintings. It started with my great-grandfather and now has been passed down to me. Here are some pictures of the paintings my great-grandfather and grandfather made years ago. As you can see from these paintings, the focus of Batuan-style painting is on the use of gloomy colors, usually black and white. With a, with a preponderance of mystic, balanced religious culture associated with sorcery and witchcraft. They are renowned for their incredibly miniature paintings as well. It was incredibly challenging for me to learn while doing my quest project at the same time. Therefore, I begin with acrylic and watercolor paint. My grandfather was a person who had taught me about Batuan-style paintings. 
And for starters, I started with painting a human with its own illustration. My goal is to successfully create five different paintings, and I'm very proud that I could achieve this goal. Here are the pictures of the paintings I created in two months. I've actually brought two of my paintings today, so if anyone's interested and want to take a closer look, you can check it out later. Afterwards, I was looking up at some orphanages when I came across an orphanage called Dharma Jati Satu Orphanage, an orphanage that was established on October 15, 1985, and is currently taking care of 55 orphans. This orphanage is specifically dedicated to take care of orphans and the poor in order for them to have a better education for a better life. Besides education, they also prioritize the children to be kind, culturally minded, and all other values that they believe in. On my first visit to the orphanage, I had a chance to speak with the head of the caregiving team, Ibu Moni. She's a, she's a kind-hearted and strong woman. And after having an interview and asking her some questions, I asked her some questions about the orphan's background. She mentioned that some still had parents. However, they're from a low-income family, so they had to put their child in the orphanage because they couldn't afford the life expenses for their child. Some had family grudges, and their parents were divorced. However, there are approximately six kids who were abandoned in the orphanage's front door without knowing who their biological parents were. These are some stories from hundreds of orphans who are being cared for in the orphanage since 1985 until now. After listening to some heartbreaking stories, I knew that this was the orphanage I wanted to support. Then I had a discussion with her about the art sessions that I was planning to do with the orphans. She agreed for me to have the art session, and I had 12 to 15 kids in each art session. My original plan was to have two to three art sessions with the orphans, but it ended up having four instead. The aim of this art session is to first let them explore their individual artistic talent, as well as expressing their current feelings or emotions through their own art pieces. This is the end result from all the art sessions I've done with the orphans. This was truly a great experience for me, and I could tell that these children were truly feeling joyful doing these type of art activities, especially doing it as a whole team to create this stunning art piece. Back to my paintings. I'd sold my paintings on Spirit Friday and made an Instagram and Facebook account not long ago called Secrets in Art. After selling for about two months, I have successfully sold three of my paintings and received numerous amount of donations. At the end of my visit to the orphanage, I had donated 80% of the profit from the people who had bought my paintings and fully donated the money from the people who had generously donated to my project. This comes to a total of 12,111,000 rupees. With the money I had, I had bought several things needed in the orphanage, which were mainly food stocks and household needs. I have donated the rest of the money to the orphanage, and there were generous people who gave me items to donate, which were English books, games, and clothes. Seeing their happy faces, receiving all the donations, made me reflect on the privileges I have as a teenager. From being able to have a great family, to being a student at this wonderful school named Green School. This will also not be the end of my journey to learn about Batuan style paintings. Instead, this will just be the beginning of my journey to explore various forms of art, especially painting skills that I have not yet learned and will use to create a bigger impact on my surroundings. A quote that has inspired me throughout my quest was by Annie Albers. Art is something that makes you breathe with a different kind of happiness. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to give a big shout out to my great-great-grandfather because without him, my quest project would have not existed. Lastly, I would like to thank everyone who had bought my paintings, donated to my project, and supported me throughout my quest project. My grandfather, who taught and gave me steps to paint in Batuan style painting. My mom, for helping me market my paintings and always being on my side whenever I needed her. My quest teachers and mentors, Ibu Angie, Ibu Laura, and Ibu Chandra. 
and my sister for helping and guiding me throughout my Quest project. I would also like to thank my family and friends who have been supporting me and giving me lots, lots of motivations. Thank you. <laughs>